Hello. <laughs> How you doing? Oh, I'm good. How you doing this I'm, morning? I'm, well, afternoon. Afternoon, yes. <laughs> afternoon. I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. It's finally good to speak with you. Yeah. I know we had a little confusion. My fault. It's, it's nobody's fault. <laughs> It's nobody's fault. It's just a misunderstanding. You know why, too? Because I normally, when I have, like, a busy, busy day, I put everyone, you know, I, you know, schedule people and stuff. And for some reason, I had you, I had you for 1 o'clock, and then I scheduled another client for, I believe it was 2.30. And when I look back in our archive. I confirmed 3 o'clock, so I'm like, so why do I got a schedule for 1 o'clock? My time. It was just a whole thing. So then I actually, you know, called the brother that I had the appointment with for 2.30, and I asked him if he can swap with the 1 o'clock appointment so I can take you for the actual oh. time. Yeah, but it is what it is. It's no biggie. We on the phone now. We're going to get into our session, and we're going to get... It worked out. Everything is gravy. And you know, how do you pronounce your name? Artega. Who? Artega. Oh, Artega. Okay. No, Artega. Like Tega? the Spanish last name. Art. Can I call you Tega? Tega is good? Yeah, you can call Tega. Okay, Tega is good. Okay. There's some. All oh, your spirit guides are telling me that you have some questions that you have to ask me. Um. Have you ever received a, a um a spiritual reading before? Or should I explain to you how I conduct sessions? Not like this, I didn't. But I've watched almost all of your videos on YouTube, so you good. Ooh, okay. <laughs> all right, great. Okay, great. So, do you want to just jump into the messages, or would you like to um express what's been happening to you, or? ask questions because they're, they're telling me that you have some things that you would like to express or you have some something some something that you want more information on or something like that is, is do you want to start off like that or no just start you, with the message because I had to get my thoughts together too oh okay okay yeah because this is what they're saying okay give me a second let me see. Okay, so consistency. The first thing that's coming up with with you is consistency. And what they're saying is, listen, whatever it is that she is doing, tell her to be consistent with whatever it is. Because you are actually, you may, ha you may be feeling like, am I on the right path? Is this what I'm supposed to be doing? Is, you know, you have all of these different questions, but they're saying you are actually in alignment with your highest good, and it is going at a very nice and smooth pace. However, you know how sometimes you start certain things and then you stop? No, that's that's where the problem lies. That's where the problem, the issue goes in. They're saying, listen, tell her to be consistent with everything that she's doing. Rather it's meditation, rather it's writing, rather it's singing, rather it's whatever, saying mantras, Tell her to remain consistent and do not have doubt in her mind that all is go you know, that things is not going well. Things are going well. So consistency is the first thing with you. And then the color orange and color brown. Brown, they're telling her they're saying to stabilize stabilize yourself, ground yourself. Clarity, the mind, tell her to, you know, find a peace of mind or tell her to go within and find what it is that she is looking for to give you this, you know, this balance, this state of balance. And then I guess the color orange, we're dealing with the sacral chakra, we're dealing with sexual organs, we're dealing with willpower, we're dealing with strength, and we're dealing, we're also dealing with femin feminine powers. So in any event, don't be ashamed to, I guess, express yourself the way you want to express yourself. It's true. If you want to wear your, your hair yellow one day, wear your hair yellow. If you want to wear your hair 
green one day, wear your hair green. So expression of who you are is what they're saying. Tell her to be free. Tell her to let herself go. And do not be ashamed of who she is. And again, your spirit guys is going to, your spirit guys is telling me things about you that happened in the past, present, and future. And then another thing, what they're showing me, um, is bringing me back to your childhood. And I'm seeing you riding, <coughs> riding like a little bicycle or whatever and playing and being joyful, and they're, and they're saying that is the joy that we want her to have. You know, when a child, a child is like, they're free, they're carefree, they take, you know, they take um, risks, they do whatever it is that they want. Tell her to come back to that particular level of her life. I see the number 13 with you, and they're saying 13 is one of the master numbers that you need to master within yourself. The 13 chakras or the 9 chakras should be within alignment in order for you to see your full potential. And they're saying, listen, she wants to start this, she wants to start that, and she wants to get into this, and she wants to get into that. And the main goal is to, I guess, master the spiritual you, um, the mental you, and the physical you, yes, but the spiritual is more so of a spiritual alignment or a spiritual work or attunement is what they're saying i want you on the 10th and on the 13th so we're dealing with um june 10th coming up and june 13th you want to take yourself a sea salt bath to remove any negativity or any other people's energy that you may be holding on to because that's coming up with you now in terms of um you know absorbing other people's aura field and energy and again my love we're living in a um you know a world where people are sick mentally and you know we're if we are amongst these people rather if we're on a bus or tra public transportation whatever it is you're working with certain people sometimes we tend to pick up on the on other people's thoughts and we don't even know why we think the certain things we think and why we act the certain way we act and it is because we pick up on other people's energy because as black people we are spiritual and very intuitive people so what they're saying is in order for you to move forward you have to release or remove other people's energy from your aura field and one way of doing so is by taking this sea salt bath and they're saying a pinch of sea salt and then also you want to take a honey bath as well so you want to do a two-day bath is what they're saying so on the 10th and the 11th which makes sense because the number 11th is also a master number and then the number one i mean the number 10 goes down to number one so it's all about new beginnings so you want to cleanse yourself first and then you want to bring about sweetness and abundance so what they're saying is tell her to pinch a little sea salt in the bathtub on the 10th um, or rather on the 13th. And then the following day, which will be the 11th and the 14th, you want to take yourself a honey bath, a sweet honey bath to bring about love, to bring about affection, to heal yourself from other people's energy and past emotions and past feelings that may be stored up in the sexual reproductive system. Do you bleed heavy? No. Okay. I used to, I had five girls. Oh, you had it. That's okay. That's what I'm picking up. Okay, that's what I'm picking up. Um, you so you took care of that. Uh -huh. Okay, great. Okay, great. Okay, great. Yeah, because again, it's all about energy and it's compact. Um, within the female reproductive system. So again, in order for you to be stress free or to rather um, you know, not stagnate other people's aura field within your body. Um, you want to begin to cleanse your, cleanse yourself on those particular days. When is your birthday date? January 12th. Oh, so we're dealing with number three. That's where the 13 coming at. Oh, well, then January 12th, if January is the first month, and then the number 12, so 12 plus 1 is also 13. So that number 13 is really, really resonating with you. And that number 13 as well deals with black magic and, and spells. 
So and 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 again, it doesn't, and it's not a bad thing. It's just knowing your, <clears throat> knowing your potential and knowing what you can create in this reality. So and I always say like a black spell is anything that you agree on. You know, and sometimes we tend to cast spells upon ourselves. Oh, I'm not able to do this. Oh, I can't. Oh, I'm ugly. Oh, I'm not good enough. Oh, this, oh, that. That's also known as a black spell being cast upon ourselves. So in any event, um, my love, begin to release yourself or begin to just, you know, it's all about you, this particular realm. Or this particular cycle again we are in a, a, a number nine cycle 2016 as up to the number nine so it's all about closure it's all about clearing yourself from other people's energy um with you in particularly and um and moving forward give me a second Ted said they saying tell her not to stress about finance finance will come and to the extent that you stress about finance I always tell my clients it's to the extent that you hold or you create obstacles for you to receive that. So be free-flowing with financial situations. Be free-flowing with relationships that you go through. Be free-flowing with the relationship that's within yourself. And know that, my love, know that. Give me a second. Hold on. Because there's people coming through. Oh, you you are you from the Caribbean or something? You, do you know where your ancestors are from? Hmm. Not those, but I was born in New Orleans. Oh, they them little those is my people. <laughs> they are here. They are here. They are here with the drums. They are here. 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 They are here for you. They are here for you, and it feels like this is a ceremony that is happening right now, and you are actually being initiated into another dimension, or not even dimension, but you are actually, through me, being cleansed through them, through the drumming. They're drumming. It's like, you know, that's why I asked if they, you, you know, come from a, a West Indian background, because it's like more so of a traditional slash Afrocentric um, thing going on, a ceremony, ceremony, go, ceremony going on. So you're actually, they're actually cleansing you and they're actually acknowledging you. Um, who are you? Give me a second. Who are you? Like, why are they come? Hold on. Oh, okay. You want to work with Mama Bridget. Oh, okay. You want to work with Mama Bridget. You want to work. I feel like, you know, like the cat goddess. Um, you know, like the black cats or you, oh, that's why it's, 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 it's symbolized to number 13. We gotta, we, what the hell? Hold on. Give me one second. The number 13. Is that your favorite number? Are you laughing? No, I'm just laughing because like, I feel like tingling and I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. You feel a tingling cause they, yeah, you, you're in the ceremony right now. <laughs> <laughs> you see, you you you're feeling it because they're here and they are actually playing drums and it's like initiation or it's rather an acknowledgement of you and that's and it makes sense because these are your New Orleans ancestral roots that's coming from to me and guess what my love and uh, people from the New Orleans have the Haitian Creole roots and I am right. Haitian. And I am Haitian. My mom is Haitian. Therefore, it all makes sense. And that's why they're saying that you are becoming initiated with them and be, and connecting with them through me. Because I am channeling the ancestral, your ancestral lineage. And, and that's why I ask if you, you know, in any event, um, where your background was from, so everything is making sense. I am Haitian, and you come from, your roots are from the New Orleans, which are the Creole people, which are also Haitian, um, very spiritual people, and that's why they speaking to me about the number 13, which, you know, the Europeans or the, the white supremacy do not want you to tap into that number 13 because it is a very powerful number, okay, which makes me, let me get my numerology book so we can get into the, the metaphysical and occult symbol or occult meaning. Give me one second. 
Okay. You like, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. She can take all the seconds she want. I want to know this. Give me one second, cause I have to. This is a something that is in me that I have to. What the hell? Who are? Who are you? Who am I speaking to? What's your name again? Tiger to who? <laughs> Wait, no, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh, don't laugh. Cause this is this is interesting. Ooh. They they said eleven, and it makes sense because eleven. It, either either way, either way you look at it, um, the number eleven and then the number thirteen because you were born on January twelfth, right? So January is the first month, and one plus eleven is that twelve. That twelve, twelve, right? And then, and then, right? And then, but then, the number thirteen comes from one and your actual birth date, which is one plus the number twelve, which is thirteen. So either way you look at it, you know coming from the spirit realm, them giving me the number 11 and you being born on the 12th, either way you look at it, you resonate more with that energy of 11 and 13. Now, overstand this, my love. Um, well, some people would say, what, the, what does that mean? That means that you have the full potential to master yourself or master the different gods or the different entities within you from transition which is the number 11 going into your highest full potential and then the number 13 for you and we're going to get into it the number 13 for you is dealing with spirituality i'm telling you i feel like screaming right now like it's it's very 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 tense right now because you got your peoples here from New Orleans that people don't even deal with. Whew. Give me a second. Yeah, I got I definitely gotta take a bath after this because this is this is intense. Give me a second. Yeah, give me a second. This is this is this is good though. This is good intensity. Um but I do believe, hold on one second, let me just get this, the number 13, we have to deal with the number 13, what is the number 13, examples, no, numerology, no, I need to see what is this number 13 about, you know what, the number 9, the number 19, no, we want the number 13, we don't want the number 19, we want the number 13. Is that what we want? <laughs> we want the number thirteen. Oh my goodness! Wait, because this this is this is like a burning something burning inside of me. Do I have to go get Lloyd Strayhorn's book and get this? This was the closest number. Okay, hold on. I'm getting closer to it. Oh gosh. The number okay here we go yes 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 we're getting close yes the number 13 yes yes we here okay the number 13 13 has traditionally been thought of as an unlucky number so it shouldn't surprise us to see it listed as one of the karmic numbers though some people with 13 prominent in their name or birth dates which is you are inclined to be mystical right that's why i'm like who are you huh no just going. yeah yeah like this is crazy i'm like who are you the number thir- the uh the number itself has an unfortunate heritage because there are they were 13 at the last supper there you go that's the christ see jesus and the 12 apostles so remember when i told you 12 and then that number one january is one and which is also known as jesus which is also known as the christ energy within you and then the 12 apostles so it is okay so let's go into that um 13 at the last supper and one died as a side note 
Leonardo da Vinci, who Last Supper is one of the most widely appreciated masterpieces in the world. Okay, we don't care about that. We want to know the real deal. Apparently, hold on. Many 13th have a fear of unknown. No, 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 no. Hold on. Give me one second. We're going to get into this. Apparently, however, fate doesn't add the same way we do. And since three people were in the first to leave, Matthew Arnold died at of heart failure at six months later. One of the companions who left him was found on a shortly dead. I doubt the number 13 killed Matthew Arnold, but this um, reveals an important aspect of the number 13 as it shows itself in human behavior. Um, logic to the number four and subconscious fear, subconscious fear of the irrational as symbolized by the hidden two in 13. Okay, we, 13 relates to death. There you go. The 13th tarot card, but the death card shouldn't be interpreted literally. Death in the case of the number 13 is itself a symbol of the unknown and has two see that's the that's the thing the unknown that's why i keep saying who are you um the number 13 is itself a symbol of the unknown and has two significant meaning as symbol for with this karmic number first what happens to us after death remains a mystery that's right what happens to us after death remains a his uh, a mystery and second, the fact of death brings us a consciousness of time, a consciousness that that we must work and accomplish something, some meaningful on the physical plane before we die. Many 13th have a fear of the unknown, of what the subconscious might reveal, and of work, uh, which is the remainder of time, morality, and how long we have lived. Often we scatter their energies. Okay, we, no, no, no. Many 13s have a tendency to waste time, to act childish, and to procrastinate. If not in their incarnation, then perhaps in some form of lifetime. A disdain or dislike of work can make them shy away from long-term projects. 13 must learn to retain a balance between the logic of four and the feelings of the number two. And when we're dealing with, when they say the logic of four, we, they're saying one plus three in the number 13 is um, four. And then the feelings of two. The real and the unreal. There you go. The real and the unreal. So basically balancing out what is real to you and what is not real to you. But, oh, but also understand one thing. Your opposite sign is cancer. So we're dealing with water sign and we're dealing with ancestral connection. As a matter of fact, right before you, the brother, um, he was also a Capricorn. And I had to explain to him the connection that he had with the ancestral realm. And that's why right now your, your ancestors are here giving you that initiation because you have this deep connection with the ancestral realm that you have to begin to analyze or remain consistent with. Some 13s never get married. The ne the nearest composer, okay, we don't want to know this. Well, if the above, okay, some 13s feel that partnership with their emotional demands um, interfere with their work. Still others sub sublimate uh, their emotions into work and then are uh, plagued with feeling of boredom. Yeah, so you have to be very, I guess, uh, unique within yourself in order for things to last. So it, it, it feels like you have like, um, you know, when you start to do something or you start to, um, you, you, you begin a project and if it doesn't, if it doesn't excite you, then you would not remain consistent with it. And that's why the first thing that came up with you was consistency. So whatever it is that you start, you have to just remain consistent and just, you know, finalize it and complete your task. Whatever it is, like I said, even if it's mantras, if it's singing, if it's this, if it's that, you have to remain consistent because you have that 13 energy where if it's not about nothing or if it doesn't excite you, then you're not going to complete it. But then that's where you fall short at because you always have to complete a cycle. 
um the cycle of death and rebirth began cold winters okay etc etc so what i'm getting out of this number 13 is being mystical um hidden and we also dealing with life and death so um <coughs> Which is which is what I was speaking to you about the black magic thing, you see. Um, so that's very interesting that I know, or rather that I I was able to reveal, you know, that you have this, you know, life and death situation, and don't be scared. Of, and when when I speak to you about death, I'm not speaking to you literally about dying, but death is a form of transition, transitioning into you know, a higher you or transitioning into a new stage. But in order for you to transition, I guess, into a new job or into a new situation or new relationship, in, in order for you to transition or, you know, into something new, you have to what? Kill the old. That's death. You have to kill the old. That is death. So, and that deals with the number 13. That deals with carbon. That deals with you. That deals with you know, ancestral connection, the mystical you, in a sense, so, um, understand that, try to understand that, that, that part of you, um, in order for you to figure out the whole, in a sense, mm-hmm, that's what they're saying, but your drummers here, these people are very, they're very powerful people, they're drumming, they're drumming for you, they're drumming and they're dancing for you here, and they're very, happy with the fact that you got this reading so i don't know if you was pondering about it um for a very long time or what is it but they're like she got it she's here and we're happy that she finally came to us and she's finally connecting with us in that sense and they're wearing all white but i yeah they feel like a yeah they definitely feel like um haitian Haitian uh connection. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You have any questions? Because that's initially oh, okay. what they what your spirit guides were saying that you wanted to speak to me about the thing. Well, I know well one particular question like I you already answered kind of but I was always wondering what am I? Who am I? Oh. And you picked up on that and what I kept hearing is mystic, mystic, but I don't know what a mystic is. And you picked up on that too. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. You know who you should work with? You should work with Mama Bridget. We're gonna get into Mama Bridget. Um, she's from New Orleans. She came through, she's here. Um, she's part of the ceremony, so I feel like she may be your spiritual, um, godmother in a sense. Um, and she deals with the underworld. She deals with life and death situations. She did, and when I say life and death, I'm speaking about transition. Um, you know, you are already being initiated into the realm, the spirit realm in a sense. Um, and what I mean by you being initiated into the spirit realm, I mean, they are acknowledging who you are and what you have to offer. The The gates are open, basically. That's the number 11 right there, the gateway, going through a passage, you know, going through one particular place to another particular place, you see. Um, but again, you have to remain... Uh, consistent. The first thing that you, you want to do, let me see, Mama Bridget, the first thing that you want to do, um, L is L-M-N, right? L-M-N-O-P. Uh, give me one second, my love. Oh, this is a beautiful thing. Oh, my God. This is wonderful. I feel it. <laughs> Look at me. I feel, feel like I'm getting a reading. <laughs> But I feel like I'm like trembling. I don't know. Yes, you, you, you don't, don't, don't be afraid. Sit down if you need to. Sit down. I if am. You, yeah, okay. That's that's what you need because you, it's it's the spirit coming through. It's the cleansing. Um, as they told you to do on uh the tenth or the thirteenth. 
Give me a second. Where's Mama Bridget? Where you at, Mama Bridget? Where you at? Where you at? That's Mommy Watch Out. We don't need Mommy Watch Out. We need Mama Bridget. Or it's probably Madame Bridget. M A M A. We need you where you at. You're somewhere here, and I'm going to find you. Because I know you want us to read about you when she's with you. Oh, definitely, Mama Bridget. Give me a second. Give me just one second, Madame Mama Bridget. We are uh, definitely dealing with transition, and I wouldn't be surprised if if her number is thirteen, and if her number is thirteen, then yeah. Hold on, Ma. Where is it, Mama Bridget? Um. Okay, give me a second. Bridget, there you go. Okay, Mama Bridget. La Grande Bridget. Creole. There you go. That's the Creole people. Bridget, Mother Bridget. New Orleans. There you go. Origin, Haiti. Classification is the Loire. Uh, Madame Bridget is, is queen of the cemetery and spirit world. She is married to Barisamdi and is venerated and petitioned alongside him especially for fertility and healing. You remember I said healing yourself, right? The Baron and the Bridget are invoked on behalf of terminally ill children. If Barisamdi frightens you, Madame Bridget may be petitioned to intercept on your behalf. Bridget has tremendous powers over her own. She is, she is not dependent on her husband. There you go. Madame Bridget is an avatar of uh, Bridget D or Bri Bridget, uh, who was brought to Haiti by Scots and Irish uh, servants. She evolved in Haiti, transformed, they go that word transformed, into a loi. A loi means a spirit um, or an ancestor. And, and wed the baron, meaning, and had, you know, and married the baron. However, songs Suing in her honor still recall that she originally came from Scotland. The uh, grand the Bridget travels well. Haitian refugees carry carried her to New Orleans, where she is also actively venerated. Madame Bridget is invoked to protect one's children serving in the military. She is invoked for healing or for financial prosperity. Did I not just speak to you? Uh, by financial prosperity, my love, you have to understand what is happening right now, okay? <laughs> I'm like, you, everybody stay calm. We got to understand what is happening right now, okay? That's how you invoke. That's how you connect with the spirit realm, right? So Madame Brigitte serves as a judge in the court of spirits. Invoke her for justice if it is not forthcoming elsewhere, invoke her help in regular courts too. Petition her for success with court cases and legal issues. She is synchronized to Mary Magdalene, who image may be used to represent her manifestation. Uh, Madame Bridget is traditionally envisioned as a light-skinned woman. Attributes, her cross. Days, Mondays, Wednesdays, or what? Saturdays, depending on the tradition. There you fucking go. There you go. I'm sorry. There you go. Today is Saturday, depending on the tradition. There you go. There you go. And this is our tradition as spiritual people. And that's why they have in this, what is known as this ceremony thing going on for you, because that is their tradition to invoke Mama Bridget on a Saturday, okay, so there you go, yes, let's get to this, so her colors are, uh, are is purple and black and violet, uh, violet, that's how you say it, violet, yeah, mm -hmm. number is nine, so now this reminds me of uh, Mama Oya as well, um, and Mama Oya also deals with transformation and transitioning as well, the trees is elms and weeping willows. Madame Bridget lives in trees with the graveyards. Her altars in the cemetery rocks or arranged as 
um, pyramids to serve as an altar for Mama Bridget. Offerings, which you can offer her, um, is purple um, irises, black coffee. I would I would definitely recommend for you to do that black coffee thing because Haitian people love or Creole people, even with the spirit yeah. realm, my mother, um, uh, her altar, she got nothing but coffee, black coffee for them, for her, you know, for her, for her spirit guides and her spirit, uh, her ancestors. So black coffee is sticking out for me to tell you to do for Mama Bridget in terms of financial situations is what they're saying. So it's more so working with her to, um, you know, uh, succeed financially with whatever it is that you want. All right, <clears throat> so black coffee, rum in which many small, extremely hot peppers have been steeped, um, overproof rum, red wine, nine purple eggplants, black beans and rice, corn meals, cornbread, also roasted corn. Um, and again, she is married to Barisamdi. Uh, Barisamdi, have you ever seen Prince Princess and the Frog? I know who that is. Yep. Mm -hmm. That's dumb. That is definitely dumb. This is I I after this session I have like a couple of more, but today I got from this alone I gotta take Man. a bath because this we we've we we've experienced we both me and you we've we we've <laughs> we have you know we have been in a spiritual ceremony or ritual from the spirit realm and as you was feeling these these feelings coming through you I am also feeling it to the intense power because I'm the one delivering it to you you see so <laughs> it's like you feeling what you feeling but believe me I this gotta this is very intense but it's a beautiful thing and I'm honored that the spirit realm was gave me the strength to see this and help you and guide you to let you understand who you are. You are actually a part of them. And we're dealing with, again, protection is what they're saying, transitioning and being consistent with what you do. And again, from periodically, from time to time, even if you want to take a clearing bath, which is on my site, do so, you know, but for you more so, you want to cleanse yourself on the 10th and the 13th, or even do it rather on the number four too, because 13 adds up to number four, one plus three. Do it as much as you can, my love. Do it as much as you can. You can't win, babe. I know you feel what I'm I yeah. You feel me? I'm like my breath my breath my breath my breath my breath my breath I know it's okay my love it's okay. we okay we gonna be all right we gonna be just fine I'm honored you have to be honored you have to be honored. you have to be honored you have to be thankful this is this is not just a reading we just actually went through um a very intense spiritual ceremony a ritual so it, you know you know how you know how when white folks get in like get in the circle with um and not to take away from you know white people or whatever I'm not talking bad on them but they can't sustain the energy of the drums right right that's right. how I feel because it's very intense <laughs> no I'm not lying I'm I'm first of all I'm channeling and I'm in a ceremony so right. <laughs> it's like I'm hot I don't even know yeah yeah you well okay. you you gonna be yeah. <laughs> yeah. But to point out something you said with Mama Bridget, you were saying that she came from Scotland, and my last name is Scottish. Ooh. That's crazy. Everything is by oh. divine appointment, my love. Mm -hmm. Everything is by divine appointment. Everything is by divine appointment. It is. What's today? Is it today? What date does today add up to? Today add up to the twenty first. Do you go to number three again? That's the number three, Trinity. Twelve. Mhm. Mm yep. 
I'm just thinking of what the community. Yeah. Um, let me think. I think my first question would be, do you know what my spiritual gifts are? Because I know I'm a little different, but I'm not very clear, as you already pointed out. So I'm just trying to figure out what's going on. Mm. Give me a second. Okay. They say to okay. see. So to see, to be a medium, to be able to foretell the future, to be able to help people with karmic um, death, you know, from past life, you have to be able to see through people in order for you to see, to help them where they're going. Um, so they're saying you have this gift and they go to number 13, the mystic, the psychic, um, you have this gift that you haven't fully exercised yet. So it's more so of helping people rather on a spiritual level to align themselves with their highest good sort of thing. Not more so of channeling. Channeling is different than being, you know, being a psychic. But or or rather seeing that's that's two different things. Um, channeling is more so communicating with the spirit realm. Seeing is what you see and what your spirit tells you. You know you see things. You know you see them. You're not getting messages from nobody. It it just is. You're able to 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 read a picture, to look at a picture, and to break the picture down on a metaphysical and occult level. So what they're saying is for you, my love. It's seeing. That's one of your main gifts. So be consistent with, you know, um, be consistent with um, your spiritual practice in order for you, for your third eye to open up. Okay. And I'm going to tell you something now. <laughs> tell me. Tell me, my love. Younger, you know, I always see stuff I know other people don't see. But mm. it, that's for me because that's always what it's been. But it got intense, and I prayed to God to take the sight away from me. Oh, okay. And I stopped eating so much. But now I'm starting to see, but not just with my eyes, it's with all my senses. That's why I'm, like, confused on what's going on. And then I'm like, am I having permission or am I manifesting? Manifesting. You know? Manifesting. Okay. It's manifestation. Let me tell you something. I tell my clients all the time. The main fact that you come through me and get a reading, you're dealing with somebody that my vessel is good, you know. Um, so you, it is it's it it it's almost it's almost um how can I say it's almost natural for you to have these feelings while being on the phone with me in a sense, you know. Um, having this like epiphany, like, oh, I knew this or, you know, or being thankful that I'm delivering these messages because most of the times I don't really tell people nothing that they don't already know. I actually re rather not re and activate or I activate the dormant cells, which makes them become awakening or makes them realize who they truly are you know besides me communicating with the spirit realm is more so helping people understand who they really are from the cells the dna cells that has been lying asleep so it's like you get a very familiar feeling when you're on the phone with me because again i have a very clean vessel so it, it it's gonna make sense it's gonna it's gonna feel comfortable. It's gonna feel like this is always in you because I'm re in, reactivating the cells, the DNA cells that has been with you from your past life till now, stirring up that kundalini energy, stirring it up. That's why you hot. Stirring it up. That's why you hot. You feel the pressure rising in consciousness. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was going to ask you about Kondalini, too. There you go. You were texting me before I even sleep. Mm -hmm. Okay. 
thing. Huh? Okay. I'm trying to stay calm. You can't stay calm. I told you I feel like screaming. You you Why? can't you can't, like, you can't ah. I, yeah like ah <laughs> damn what is going on you know it, it's a transition it's a transition yeah. I'm honored that I was part of it Whew. Well, I am trying to whoop, whoop. okay let me um bring it down a little bit bring let it down <laughs> bring, bring, bring it down. down bring it down yeah because yeah something I'm doing um what about love. Well, Are you picking up anything on that level? I mean, love is gonna come. You just gotta align yourself with it. You know, that's that's you. And then don't be shy to go get it. You know, um, sometimes because we have we're very egotistic in the sense like we don't want to approach a man, um, and tell you know a person that they you know that you have an attraction to them. I think for you is if you see somebody that you you know, you like or you admire, I, I feel like you should initiate a conversation. But what they're saying is, they, you know, they're actually fanning me off. Like, ah, oh, tell her that will come. Tell her that will come. Like, tell her that will come. Don't even worry about that. Tell her that will come. I, I really feel like you're, the main reason for us, our union, is so that we both can experience what we experience. Like the love relationship stuff, that 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 means nothing to what we just experienced. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? Right. Over overstand that, you know. So it's like she's asking about love, like she's gonna get love. You, like, know? <laughs> you understand? Like, but it's okay. It's okay. You 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 know you want to get all the questions that you can now. You only have an hour. You know, you know it's like I got an hour of her time. Let me try to get all I can. <laughs> all right. Yeah. Okay. That's another thing. I've been kind of down. Now, I've been through a whole lot, though, so it's not like it's not coming from nowhere. Yeah. My question is, is that just me or, you know, where is that coming from? How can I get out of it? Because that's what I need to do, but I don't know how. You got to clear yourself. Remember I told you, clearing bath. Mm -hmm. I told you, the clearing bath. You have to clear yourself. Rather, if you choose to purchase a clearing bath from me, a three-day clearing bath from me, or you do what the spirit realm told you to do rather on the 10th or the 13th. You cleanse yourself with a pinch of sea salt on the 10th, and then on the 13th, you take yourself a honey bath. Or on the, I mean, on the 11th, you take yourself a honey bath. Or you can start on the 13th with a pinch of sea salt, and then take your honey bath on the 14th. Or, again, you can just take the three-day bath from me, the clearing bath, so that you can cleanse other people's energy from your aura field. We spoke about that. You got to cleanse. You got to clear it. If you don't clear it, then it's still going to be there. Mm -hmm. Did any of my, my closer ancestors come through, like recently this week? Nah, I'm not coming through. That's okay. No, I, I, I believe me, I know it's okay. <laughs> I, I, they not coming through. Shoot, I would, I, I personally, I wouldn't. I, I'll be like, whoever came through from that ceremony, I'm good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even want to know about nobody else. I'm satisfied. I'm good. <laughs> You know, but nobody else is coming through. The only people that's coming through are your spiritual, and you know that these 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 um uh, these these Creole people, these Haitian people, they're very they dark skin. Huh? <laughs> I said they can be a little pussy. Yeah, yeah. They and and they're dark skin. They're very they're dark skin. Mm hmm. Mm. Wow. Mm -hmm. I'm looking, like, I wrote all my little questions Friday. And yeah, so I'm just going through them, but you kind of addressed everything. Yeah. Yeah. It happens. But it just has to be expected. Mm -hmm. That's oh, why I always tell my, my com Say that again. I was going to ask you about my diet. Mm -hmm. Is there a special diet I should do? Because I've been, 
like trying to go towards vegan. Mm-hmm. And it's not really a struggle, but I'm just doing it step by step. But is that what I need or will help me the most? I mean, it, it, that's your choice. I, 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 I personally feel that it will. I personally feel that um, the lighter you are, the more in tune you are with your spirit because food holds energy as well. As they say, you are what you eat. So, uh, you know, if you're eating a lot of dead corpse or dead flesh or things that is, doesn't have life, then how can you expect for you to be vibrant and 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 in tune if you're eating dead flesh you know but it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't apply for everybody people that eat meat is they still be in tune and they still be okay because we are gods and goddesses but in your situation the main fact that your spirit guides or not even spirit guide the main fact that your spirit is guiding you to make this change that means that this right. is part of your transition. Remember what I told you, life and death. You got to kill the old in order for you to begin with the new. That's true. You see? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now my brain is like empty. I can't even try. I don't need to. Girl. They just cleared all that out. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, and don't you know if you if if you don't if you don't have any additional questions, just just you know just accept what happened. You know, um, because if it doesn't come from the soul, or if it doesn't come from the spirit, then it's like right. it's like ah uh, whatever. You know, it's not really you know. But again, you you have you could you could ask me as much questions as you want within an hour. But I just feel like you know the main part of our session, which was a very healing, and I thank you for choosing me to have this experience, I feel like we we, we covered the main thing, you know, um, which was finding out the numbers with you, finding out the true you, your powers, your true powers, your true potential, who you are, you know, the people, your spirit, the your ancestral connection to, you know, Mama Bridget and that's a beautiful thing, how to set up even an altar for her so you can keep hold on with that connection to her. That's, that's you know. Well, then that's my question, then. With the altar to her, is it just a cup of coffee? I, I would just do a cup of coffee. And if, guess what? And if you go online and you can print out a picture of her, go online, mm-hmm. print out a picture of her, set up the altar, Give her a cup of coffee and talk to your mama. <laughs> and talk to your mama. Yes. And she is obviously around. Mm-hmm. Okay, and my last question, because we're almost over, is mm-hmm. I have an interest in tarot cards. Now I, and it's like you said, I started like really getting into it, then I like leave it alone. Is that even part of my spiritual journey? Remember I said anything dealing with spirituality. But the main thing, the main thing is seeing. People, let me tell you something. People can can shuffle cards all they want. Tarot card reading, shuffle cards all they want. But if the energy is not behind it, then... It, 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 it's not, it, it's not, you, you ain't gonna, you're not gonna have business, basically. You see, you're not gonna have business. Like, I could, I, you know, as some psychic mediums, they can give you messages, and, but people feel my aura, and that's why I get so much business, because it's the energy behind what I'm saying is what attracts people. It's not what really I'm saying that attracts people, because guess what? I'm not even giving people you know, the people that are viewing my videos, they're not even getting the reading. I'm giving you the reading, and as I'm giving you the reading, someone else is picking up on my energy. So, in wow. in, in conclusion, it's like, you can do how much readings or tarot card readings that you want, but if your energy is not behind it, then you're not going to get business. So, what do you do? Again, going back to the clearing, you got to clear yourself. 
You got to cleanse. You got to remain consistent with, you know, the, um, huh? I said so consistent with whatever I do. With whatever you do. Mm Mm-hmm. Thank you so much for taking the time out. I really appreciate it. Oh. Way more than I expected. <laughs> I, I didn't expect for this to happen in the middle of my day either. <laughs> You're like my middle client, literally. Like I didn't shoot. They could have. They sh- they could have did this at the end. No, <laughs> this this was the time. You, you know, they came through. So I thank you. I thank you for choosing me to be a part of this. Thank you so much. Thank you for contacting me. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the experience. Everything. Same to you, and you'll be hearing from me again. Okay, my love. Thank you so much, and create a bless. Uh, same to you. Mm-hmm. Okay, peace and love. Peace and love.